Hey agents, it's Manny with the sixth of my Warlords of New York Hunter Guide. This one takes place also in New York. In this video, we'll be getting an erotic mask, which I think actually should be called the duct tape mask, along with another off-white key. Like before, a big thanks goes out to the people over at Division 2 Secret Discord server for uncovering how to unlock this hunter. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do enjoy playing with viewers, so if you're looking for someone to run with, or if you need help taking down these hunters, you can hit me and other agents up on the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. This was not a hard hunter to kill, but just annoying with three different time gates in order to unlock it. To unlock this hunter encounter, we have to interact with some wires between 530 and 7, use a touchscreen between 7 and 1800, then shoot out a yellow electric box between 2100 and 5 the next morning. Then the hunter will spawn. This was a weird one for me because I actually one shot the hunter, so I still recommend playing on normal difficulty because the hunters do scale with world difficulty. I did use gunner specialization for the foam nade, which I never used, and the 50 round LMG clip. My build isn't min-max yet, but I'm really focusing around crit and the LMG for burst to take down the hunters. I'm using an MG5. The first thing I suggest doing, though, is capturing the boathouse control point, because we'll use the fast travel between a few locations to make things quicker. And with the time gate, we don't want to be wasting any time completing activities. Alright, the first activity we have to complete between 5.30 and 7. And, of course, you use camera mode to determine what the time is. Once it is, we're going to actually go to this point in the map, Fast travel the boathouse and run over. Friendly supply convoy. Detect I'll talk you through the rest of this part. Once you're at this location, run straight ahead. We're going to skip these ladders because we're going to go up to the second floor here. We're going to climb up this rope, which actually goes all the way up to the place we want. Take a right around here, across the bridge. A left, a right, into the building. Straight ahead, and on the right-hand side is the panel we have to interact with. Interact with it, and that's it. Once that's done, we're going to head over to the Trinity Church for the next part. This next part has to be done from 700 to 1800. Once it's the correct time, we're going to be in the Trinity Church. We're going to exit the fast travel location, run over to the east exit. Take a left, and quickly on the right-hand side is the touch panel we have to interact with. The next part will take place south of the Boathouse CP, but cannot be completed until 2100 hours. We're going to wait here until 2100 hours. Once it's after 2100 and before 5 a.m., shoot the yellow box on top of the steeple and the hunter will spawn. I'd actually love to give you some insight into this hunter, but honestly I have none. It was the easiest one I fought so far and the first one I one shot. You usually have to figure out where they spawn and I throw a riot foam nade on them. But this hunter never used skills and I kill him very quickly. If you know his skills, please let us know in the comments below. There you have it, another hunter down and another off-white key. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, agents, happy hunting.